All right, final round, round seven of JM Lee. We've got L versus Rare. Rare in the running. Actually, I think both these players are guaranteed top eight, but... Yeah, they are guaranteed top I think eight. this might determine who's on winners and losers side. I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, Jonas did, like, a whole bunch of, like, finicky math. Thank you, Jonas. Um, <laughs> Shout out to Jonah. Yeah, so... Pretty sure this does decide between who's top A, who's winners and losers. I, I think there's a chance both of them can get winners. Yeah. But it's more like you would want to win the match. To yeah. guarantee it. Uh, but Ernest with an incredible start right now. 96 unanswered. Um, I'm pretty sure I did see Rare play Palutena uh, last round. But has he played Palutena consistently throughout the league? or He's played like a little bit of mostly Mario at the start. And yeah. he swapped to ZSS. Okay. And then, like, after that, I have no idea what happened to his character. Right, fair enough. But Ernest, ooh, we'll try to find the down tilt tech chase. The classic, uh, the, the classic high percent Ernest uh, tech chase. But, I mean, not able to get anything off of it. And this means Rare has an opportunity to even up some of that percentage, but missing the grab, it's going to get back aired for it. Oh my goodness, that was so close. Yeah, Ernest had a lot of experience against Palutena, uh, just even in the Victorian scene, has a lot of pretty solid Palutenas. I mean, Princess for one. Um, so he's pretty comfortable with this matchup. Yeah, and back is going to take out the first stock from L. All right, rare. Yeah, okay, so there you go. Jump. All right, he makes it back. Right, still yeah, good jump. back air. I mean, Palutena back air, it's just, it's just so good, man. Invincibility, everything. Yeah, Super it's quick. so Ooh. good against every single character at the ledge. Forward air. Yeah. Oh, caught the, the teleport as well. Oh, he almost got the punish on that um bad recovery as well. Yeah. I, I like the idea behind the shield breaker, but I think Rare was sort of preparing for it. Uh, did whiff anyway. But yeah. now, Ernest still getting a lot of extra credit right now. 62% on the Palutena. Down tilt, not going to send into Tumble yet, but a nice poking tool. Oh, oh the shield break into the back air. Back air going to beat that one out. Wait, wait, wait. Palutena just rammed the shield into the shield yeah. break and it worked. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the Palutena privilege, right? Back air, super yeah, invincible. Privilege. Super invincible. Can't do anything about it. The tech chase. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. That sword was swiping at Palutena's feet, just barely missing. Rare's got to fight this sock somehow, but 150% on Ernest. Yeah, that up, man, that up smash is so large. It covers even the top platform of Battlefield there. It was even more than the top platform of Battlefield. It was just catching Palutena's feet. You can't. Right, Ernest Fox trolling, not going to get anything. I'm going to find a pivot, F tilt. What's two edge guard here? Okay, nothing there. He went for it. He went for it. Yeah, yeah. Alright, Rare's got to make something happen if he wants to get back into this game, get a big combo. And Palutena's early percent combos. Do, do quite a bit of damage. Yeah, Ernest kind of jumping around. Here you go. Shielding that uh, auto reticle, finding the grab, edge guard situation once again. Ooh. Ooh, nice high recovery. Yeah. It's like it's like that subtle high recovery. It wasn't like blatantly high, but high enough that it could sort of just get back safely if Ernest is going to try edge guard him. Mm -hmm. Oh, roll throw? straight into the up throw. Surprised he didn't pummel beforehand, but. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe it was just sort of reactive. Because uh, I feel like he definitely would have gone for a forwarder instead. Nice, good edge guard nice, on the teleport there. I was really good at two-framing um, teleport recoveries. Yeah, it's one of those things that you can lab out very nicely, uh, especially against Palutena. Right? I feel like Palutena has one of the, the easier teleport recoveries to sort of take advantage of compared to something like Zelda. Yep. I mean, since I play Sheik, like, whenever I play against Ernest, like, he just two-frames me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's just that, that, lack, that lack of hitbox on um, the teleport compared to Zelda or Sheik. Yep. There's just no threat. Alright, but sitting very comfy right now. Ernest about to lap uh, Rare in percent, but yeah. Rare just auto reticling out of the corner. Ooh, space just around the dash attack. Get on onto the ledge. Ooh, oh, I think good this is edge death. guard, yeah. Oh, maybe? No, oh, he's... no! Ooh, that was good. Why didn't he punish that? Alright. Uh, high recovery once again. Back air out of hit stun. Alright. Oh, you, you know he's looking for the kill somewhere. But... Yeah, I really like how, like, even after that down tilt sent him into tumble, he sort of he recognized that he was too far away, um, and just didn't opt for any punish off of the tech. He he, he just waited to see if Rare gave him an opportunity to punish, and this should be a kill. Yeah, dancing blade, baby. He knows those setups because dancing blade on Luciana can be a little a little bad sometimes, just not connecting into each other. But he knows he's got to hit that uh, that green down side B three in order to hit with that. Uh, yeah. Side, side and before. especially once he started with a side B, he was basically inside Palutena, so yep. Palutena was very likely not to fall out. Yeah, game two, Rare gonna take it to small battlefield. Yep. Keep in mind, last game was on battlefield, so it does look the same, but it is a different stage. Yeah. It is battlefield, but small. Yeah, even I mean, even the blast zones too, right? Got that FD blast zone up top instead of the the taller battlefield one. I'm just talking aesthetic wise, and 
Rare's getting a small lead against Ernest to start with. Nothing you can't make back though, because Ernest's punish game is crazy. Yep. Oh, he had that too, but just needed oh. to hold onto it for a tick longer. Nice, easy punish. Yeah, I feel like Rare should opt to, I mean, I guess it depends, right? In that situation, I feel like you should have opted for a, a drop down Nair as opposed to try and poke him with the forward air. Oh, Ooh. that was very, very close. Rare was really close to dying. Yeah. And sometimes Ernest will take that chance, right? He'll go for the- Oh my Ooh! god, he shield broke him! He's just dead! Well, I was going to say, Ernest sometimes t takes that opportunity on those down tilt te uh, tech chases to just straight up F smash, right? Won't react with the, the quick uh, down smash or try and uh, catch the tech behind with the yeah, second I mean, hit of down smash. If it hits, it kills. Yeah, so it's that, yeah, that risk-reward, right? So, but uh, yeah, Ernest sitting really pretty right now. Going to get that. Going to play super safe right now. Just going to get what he knows, his B&Bs. Rack up as much damage as he can. Yeah, and he's going for mix-ups in all the right spots as well. Oh, yeah. that's... I thought that was death. <laughs> I thought when it, when Ernest ran forward, I thought that side B was an F smash. Yeah, definitely. It w it would have killed. But it doesn't matter anyway. Even if L does not get that stock there, because L is so dominant in this game. Yeah. Oh, two Ooh, doesn't get, get the, the spike on it. Ooh. This corner pressure. I love that. So the spacing and the shield pressure as well. Finding that near two into down tilt. This is sort of reminding me of um, that Fire Emblem oh, scene. Okay, yeah. Alright, it's fine now, but for a while that was reminding me of that Fire Emblem Awakening scene where Emeryn's at like at the cliff and it seemed hopeless. <laughs> like Rev was taking like 70%. I mean, how yeah, yeah. even looks like Emeryn. Yeah. For anyone that hasn't played Awakening, spoilers. <laughs> Should probably preface with that one, hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 151 on Rare, Ernest sitting very, very comfortable right now, but Rare starting a little something of his own. All right, Nair. Yeah, Ernest just has to play super passive right now because even, oh, clanking with the back air. Yeah, yeah but, but he's- Rare but, is turning it up. Yeah, he's, this is really good for Rare right now. Even if he loses the stock right now, this is a really good comeback from zero. Oh, there was so much patience for that back air as well. Yeah, Ernest trying to catch an overshoot. There you go, finding the up tilt. Uh, but Rare, really good percentage. He could honestly take... Oh, that could have oh been my god, he read that. He read that. He short hopped instead of full hopped. Alright. Uh... Alright, oh catching that goodness. landing. Again, up tilt. Rare, Life you gotta land. get the stock. 98%. What will kill from Palu here? Back throw? Alright, edge guard situation. Oh, gonna have a tough time edge guarding uh, Lucina though. And every single, like, every single second that, that Rare does not take the stock, Ernest is just increasing his lead slowly by slowly. Rare's got to find something, back throw again, but that's not going to kill. Oh, never mind. That's oh, yeah, good, good stuff. stuff. Down throw into the, the delayed up air. I talked ahead of myself there. I said back throw, but he, he Rare knew better. Down throw up air on the platform. Very nice. Yeah, Ernest got caught air dodging that. Oh, there's oh, the F smash we're talking about. That down tilt to the neutral tech read. If you get it, it just kills. And it the risk kills. reward is in Ernest's favor this time, making him up 2-0 versus, I, I was about to say Emeryn against Rare. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's, sort of, that's that risk reward, right? Ernest is in at 0%. He has like that down tilt tech chase on deck. He's just going to go for the F smash. Even if he like loses it, he's just at 0, right? He's not going to get anything that's... taken off of him. But Rare for this game 3, going to take it back to small battlefield. Ernest starting a fine oh reading that goodness. roll in. It just feels like Ernest has all the momentum from last game and Rare... He's not able to do anything. Very nice avoiding that trump. Yeah, good buffer of an option there. Rare needs to curb Ernest's momentum right here. Ooh, ooh. Bro, I love that Ernest just didn't press a button. He just kept running into him. Oh my goodness, he's freaking him out. All these rolls just reek of um, weakness from me. Ooh, ooh okay. Tried to go for the, the tech roll out read. Uh, but Rare, gonna get out scot-free. Ooh, dash oh. attack. Gonna catch it, actually. Accidental dash attack, I think. Very oh, nice that was a really tech. good tech. Uh, we saw that um, against no procking. Uh, there was a meme being thrown around last uh, last round of Rare being no teching, but it turns out he's got his techs on this time. So, <laughs> but teching's not going to help you when you die off the top platform. Top platform, top blast zone. Yep. There you go, landing uh, up air. 
the Ernest Classic and lapped him in percent. Yeah, well, that really just feels like it's happening a lot. And Elf, so dominant in this set. Oh, Snapback got a pivot grab instead, probably. If Elf's able to keep this lead, this might look like a 3-0. But Rare needs to bring it back. Oh my god, the, like the maximum horizontal spike. Oh, good spike! That maximum horizontal spacing of the down air into the actual down air spike. Ernest on a tear right now. Can this be a potential three stock? I don't know. He's on track for it, but Rare looking to see if he can seal out this stock. Three stock on a 3 0. Quite maybe. L is looking so, so clean. Oh, that down is. Oh my goodness, he had a jump. He had a jump. I actually thought Rare was dead. He's keeping it going. L's fiending for this, and you know he wants this Edel Dread smash. Oh, a really good dancing blade. Just sort of get out of range of that explosive flame. He's freaking him out. Oh, oh, he had his number! He just does it! Oh my god, I thought it was going to be an F-Smash. Oh my goodness. Down tilt. Honestly, I thought that was going to be... <gasps> oh, oh my, my goodness, god, bro, this shield breaker, he's, he has it, bro. Alright, that's back though, right? Yep, he's okay, not going to die though. Who's not dead? Oh, and L was just living for so, so long. He just says that. Oh my god, this side. Does that side B might have killed with rage? Bro, yeah, yeah max rage, rage, man. 150%. It might have killed. Back air? Yeah. Oh, Alright, gonna take it. No three stock for Ernest today. Okay. But Rare still has such a mountain to climb if he wants to get back into the set. Such a tough game for him. He's just gonna re grab. Oh my oh. goodness. Why you re grab like that? I don't know. At this high percentage? Yeah. Uh, Ernest punishes those two, but. Got very Usually lucky there. Punishes those. Back air. Oh, Whoa. that was almost bad DI, but I mean, Rev. Good able to get back, yeah. Oh, good, good force smash. He's got no jump. Oh, he's going for more of those down airs. He's not hitting any oh, of them. Oh, left drop back air. That's going to take it. Man, what a dominant performance for Ernest. I mean, Especially in game three. Yeah, that is such good stuff. I mean, and there you go. Ernest probably going to be in winner side of top eight. I don't know if Rare will as well, but. Uh, probably we'll at least see both of these players in top 8. Definitely. We're going to see perhaps maybe a run back. Who knows?